Hello, hello, hello. Today is August 2nd. I want to talk to y'all about the mind. So, you want to pray, but you want prayers answered. And you wonder why prayers are not answered. Well, you're not aligned. When you're not aligned, you cannot get prayers answered. What you mean aligned? Okay, so, God said, love me with your with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength. So that spirit, soul, and body. Spirit, mind, and body. So spirit is the fellowship with God, the word of God. Are you meditating on, focusing in on, and a lot of people say the law of attraction and all this other stuff. But I mean, it's just the Christian Bible being uh reworded in a different way so is your all your thoughts on the imagination of manifestation of that thing can you see it happening and all your strength are you working are you putting yourself in position to to do it do you hear a spiritual word of go to this place I, you know the other day god told me to go somewhere I ain't really want to go, but I went and I saw why he told me to go. And you get blessed when you do things in the spirit. I made a decision mentally to do what I was spiritually told and my body followed suit. I went on and did it. So, Where do you want your life to be? How much does it cost to be you? It's either expensive or not so expensive. It's not expensive when you're living in the spirit. When you're allowing God's ways to be better and higher and reverenced over your ways. And with that, you are working in the supernatural. You're getting your prayers answered. Now, let's go a little further. Now, I'm stealing this from my friends, uh, Minister Carter. Yes, hallelujah. But anyway, he was talking about uh, regeneration. And he was saying how if you dust your house, you cleaning up all the dead cells that your body is regenerating. And a lot of our cells are not getting enough oxygen and uh, water or nutrients to live. And he said, look at that on the mental level. Are we renewing our mind to better practices of life? Are we eating the right things? Are we thinking the right things? Are we speaking, <coughs> are we speaking right? The issues of the heart flow from the mouth. Are you changing your mind about things? That's true repentance. Repentance is not I apologize as much as it is I changed my mind about something and I'm not going to do that again. So I got another friend who say, don't apologize for something, you're going to do it again. <laughs> so certain things he just don't apologize for. But uh, with that being said, I just want to drive the point home that We have to change our mind for better things to get a better life. You can't keep spending all your money and expect to have something saved. You can't keep eating all this unhealthy food and you 60, 70, 80 years old and expect your body not to feel some uncomfort, some discomfort. And if you don't have a relationship with God, spiritual level, how can you truly embrace the grace, the mercy, the truth that God has for you? You got a whole Anyway, 
let me stop trying to pontificate. You got things that are necessary for you to change. I mean, look at the 40 years where the Hebrews left Egypt and were going around the mountain over and over again because they would not change their mind. So they had to repeat the same thing, repeat the same lesson. And look at how a lot of folks just got killed off during that time. Killed off, died off, or God just opened up the, in Joshua, when Caleb and um, Joshua came back with the good report, and the other ones had the evil report, God opened up the earth and swallowed them jokes with the evil report, and was like, hey, I, I, we don't have time for this lack of faith. I need y'all to have faith. So, what are you allowing to regenerate? What are you experiencing? Heaven on earth, hell on earth, some of both? Trials is a part of heaven because you gotta grow. Now, the stuff you put on yourself because you cheated and now you gotta pay child support and because you lost your temper and now you incarcerated because you or had to go through incarceration but things that really not your fault those things those are lessons and don't forget seed time and harvest time something that didn't they? don't get don't get um amnesia thinking that certain things you didn't do and i'm not saying we serve a unjust god and we serve a vengeful god God did say vengeance is his and seed time and harvest time won't come until we die well until Jesus come back so I want y'all to, to truly recognize that some trials we bring on ourselves some trials we go through for God's growth program either you're going to be a lifelong learner or you're going to stay stuck in stupidity don't be simple minded simple minded means so stuck in I'm just gonna cuss you out and think that's gonna work and then I'm gonna ask you some for money after I cuss you out don't think that your man should want to reciprocate good to you when you just emasculated and treated him some type of way and rarely ever do anything for him that's simple minded don't think your woman is just supposed to be a machine and be ready to go for you when you're not making her feel safe, secure, and trust that the decisions you make are gonna be in line with the divine plan and take y'all to, to, to better places or at least maintain what you got. So it goes both ways. Seed time, harvest time, renew your mind so you can have better things and plant better seeds and re receive better harvest for your life I feel sorry for so many people out here who just think that they can do whatever they want to do you don't have to work you don't have to raise your kids you can drink smoke eat all this abundance of toxins whether it's too much dairy too much bread too much pasta too much salt too much meat and think your body just gonna be great all the time <sighs> yesterday for about all I had was a pal and some blueberries and that lasted me from and water from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock that night but with that I didn't feel any aches. Like I was had my shoulder, you know, I had been doing a lot of uh, work and lifting and my shoulder um, was bothering me. And uh, the pain went away. So diet helps with some of these pain, inflammations. But if you don't know better, you can't do better. You keep eating that junk, your body is gonna show you the harvest, <laughs> the fruit <laughs> from the roots so that you ate. 
when you steadily looking at what everybody got to say about you on these media feeds, and I'm not even gonna say social media, but just media feeds, you how will you ever know who you are if you never had that conversation with God? If you never read the Bible, how will you ever incline your ear to hear from God, to know what aligns with him? To have peace with surpasses all understanding. To be guided when you don't know what to do. So, change is not change without change. And Bishop Rana said, when the pressure to change exceeds the pressure to say the same, then people change. Depression, and this my take on it from my experience, depression is pressure to change but remaining the same. And your body being at war with itself. You have a divine self who, where God is talking to you and telling you, hey, this is a better way. You do this. Change, change, change. But your mind is saying, no, 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 no. But your body is taking the, 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 the brute force of it while having the, the, the headaches, the, the heartaches, the physical pains, the shutdowns, the I can't get up out of bed because I'm too tired. So, either lying or refuse to receive the answers to your prayers. Refuse to receive heaven on earth. Align and manifest God's best. Align and get Ephesians 3.20. Align by renewing your mind. Leaving the past behind as much as you can so you can demand God's best truly demand God's best. Well, I pray your strength in the Lord. I pray you receive more than I could exclaim so that supernatural uh, revelation can take over and keep pushing through this message. God bless you. God keep you. And God show you better than I can tell you. Have a good day.